from Parts Unknown. I'm Mr. Heartgrave. This is gonna be a wild video. If you've seen my toy hunt videos from the start, and this is gonna be in the playlist, so you should check them all out. But you know, we started small. My first toy hunt video, I just drove up the street. I drove up the street to a Burlington Coat Factory. I found some toys, and it took like 10 minutes to film, no big deal. Then we went to like every Walmart in town, went to every Target in town, and then we drove an hour to Pandora's Box, right? Independent toy store. We had a blast there. It's a great video. You should check that one out. But how is I going to top that, right? And I'm a busy guy. I run two YouTube channels. In fact, I've talked about it in this channel before, but the reason why I'm so clear right now in the morning and able to talk to you and not groggy is I've been taking this Magic Mind stuff for uh, about 15 days now, and it's fantastic. If you want to check it out as well, Go ahead and use the link down uh, down below. It's like green tea, but but smaller. So if you don't know, I'm in New Jersey, but I don't know, man. I feel like we need to up. We need to up the stakes. We need to up the production values. Let's jump on an airplane. Let's go to Big Lou's Toys and Collectibles in Culver City, California. It's just outside of LA. First, you know what? Before I end up there with no AEW stuff to find, because this is like an AEW channel, and we're usually looking for some AEW toys. Let me do what I should have done before I bought plane tickets, and give them a call and make sure they have AEW figures. All right, let's let's call them up. Boy, I really hope they answer. I'm kind of too far invested to cancel this trip right now. It wants me to leave a message. Hi, I'm Mr. Hartgrave, and I'm a, a toy hunter over here in New Jersey, and I'm going to hop on a plane and come there to your store. And I just wanted to know if you had AEW toys for when I get there to make sure that, you know, I don't fly across the United States and, um, and not have any toys there. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, if you're open to me filming in the store, that'd be great as well. But uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, this is my number, 732 and uh, me and my following would like to know if you have AEW collectibles there. You know, the, the, the figures, that'd be great. All right, um, I'll probably call again. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I hope you guys are open and have some figures so we can drop on in. All right, thanks a lot. You would think that that's just like a bit for the video and that like I had it more together than that. But I don't. Um, that's actually the real phone call. I actually have a plane ticket to LA. This is my actual fear about going there and not being able to finish this video in a, in a satisfactory way. I hear with the Toy Hunt videos, it's all about the anticipation. And boy, this video is going to have the anticipation. <laughs> We got that covered, boys. Look, I sent him a message on Facebook as well. Really simple. I'm just like, do you have AEW toys? My bar is so low. If I get to LA and there's like no AEW figures, I don't know what I'm going to do. But come along with me. I got my bags. I'm going to throw my laptop in here. I've got a big duffel bag. It's mostly empty so that I can just hold a bunch of AEW figures. I, I think I could probably fit like six of them in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got plenty of AEW figures already. Why am I going to California? I don't know. I guess come along with me and we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. Grave diggers, keep digging. I'm in LA and that's Jack in the Box. And I was on my way to the toy store. Not my first choice, by the way, but uh, a really good choice. But here's the deal. 
that's my Uber, and, or that's my Lyft, or my Uber, I don't know, that's my ride, and we got a flat tire. So, I'm here in the middle of LA, and there's a flat tire, and the store closes in like 30 minutes. So I don't know, man, maybe, maybe Mr. Hargrave isn't the best planner, Maybe it's time to go to Jack in the Box. I don't know, this video really got derailed, everybody. Really got derailed. It's a 99 cent store. You think they got like AEW figures over there? Well, I made it, but they're closed. And the, uh, the man over there tells me that they can't let me in, not even to look around. So, that's it we flew six hours another hour by car uber broke down guys this is why you should call ahead and make better plans don't just fly to california to go to a toy store anyways frank and son collectible show does look like a really awesome place they have 200 vendors in there i'm sure we would have found some awesome aw collectibles however it's just not going to happen on this trip I don't know what we're gonna do to end this video, but we're not gonna do this. Well, I'm back at the hotel room now. And uh, yeah, so that was a miserable failure. And to sum it all up, where we're at now is we're in California. We're in California. We left New Jersey. Why did we leave New Jersey? We were gonna go buy some toys. We were gonna go to toy stores that we had not seen before. Um, in particular, we we're gonna go to Big Al's here in Culver City. That was kind of the idea, was to go to Big Al's. And we couldn't get them on the phone. I left the message, couldn't get them on the phone. And then we decided, my producer and me, we we're like, maybe there's bigger fish. Maybe we could go, maybe we could try a little harder. And that's when we saw Frank and Sons. And man, Frank and Sons was exciting. I'm gonna tell you what, I was really excited about that. Because on the plane ride over here, I started reading this. I started reading this guy. I was people make fun of this guy, but I started reading this. The Young Bucks killing the business, right? From backyards to big leagues. This is a tough read, guys. These guys are not writers. I like the Young Bucks, okay? I'm gonna say that after reading this book, I like the Young Bucks a little more, but there was one bit in here that got me excited. They actually literally mentioned Frank's. They mentioned Frank and Sons collectibles. They used to wrestle there. Uh, what I was hearing actually, the, I got a great, a great dude gave me a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in the video. I don't think he's gonna see my video, but I'm gonna put him in the video. Why is he going in the video? Because I, didn't, I don't have footage of a toy store. That's why he's going in the video. Because I, I failed, okay? And now the video is off the rails, guys. It's unhinged. It's crazy. Mr. Hargrave jumped on a plane, went to California, tried to go to a toy store, and failed. Fell on his face, dude. Fell flat on his face. Well, I mean, really, the Uber driver fell on his face. His fat, flat tire, you know, went out. He's changing the tire. And he's, like, apologizing and stuff. And he's, I'm like... You know, what are we gonna do? I'm like, I just, I had just enough time to get there and walk around, guys. I had 10 minutes and we literally lost the 10 minutes changing that tire. Literally lost. The whole toy hunt video was basically right there in that, in that changed tire. Now that's on me. Hey, I could have gotten an earlier flight, okay? I wasn't thinking. I, clearly I wasn't thinking and now I'm really in a lot of problems. But anyways, um, Super Mario tickets, okay? What is this guy? It's Mario. Mario's transportation and services, okay? All in one transport. He's got a referral code on here. Uh, maybe I should, I'm gonna show it. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put it down in the description, but I'll put it on camera here. This guy was cool. He picked me up. Anyways, the reason I bring Mario up is Mario picked me up and, and he was like, oh, Frank's, Frank and Sons has moved around a lot. They moved around a lot. So I don't know if Matt and Nick Jackson actually wrestled in that building I was at tonight because he said that they only recently settled on that. And this was way back in the past, dude. Young Bucks were dressing up as chickens and wrestling in there. I don't know. Anyways, that got me excited. And I guess, you know, now that I, now that I know it wasn't even the building, 
that they wrestled in. Yeah, I want to talk to the guy that runs Frank and Sons. Like, why didn't they come out and talk to me? I couldn't get a hold of them. I should have tried harder. I should have thought more about this before I hopped on an airplane, but that's where we're at. I want to go back to Frank and Sons, okay? I want to do this right. And this video isn't over. This video is going to keep going. We're not done with this video yet. This video is not going to just end with me being like, well, I didn't get to go into Frank and Sons, so that's it. Read the Young Bucks book. I don't even honestly know if you want to read this, guys. It's, I mean, it's okay. I like the historical account stuff when they're just like telling stories about like what happened, but they don't even have like really funny stories or anything. And then once in a while, they're just like talking about their family or whatever. And that's like the boorest, boringest shit in the planet. I, I don't know. I don't want to make fun of the Young Bucks. I'm just mad because I didn't get to go in my toy store. Anyways, uh, at 20,000 subscribers, I'll come back and actually make it in the store. How's that sound? I don't know. Look, let's keep going. Let's, the video is going to carry on. We're going to do something better than that because everything literally would be better than that. Anything that we do would be better than me going to a toy store and having to be closed. Fucking failure. So I'm on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today. I've got a little time before my flight takes off and boy, I would like to find something in this video. I do know that there are Young Buck and Kenny Omega Funko Pops. And we do have a Funko store right here. Let's go in. Let's go see if we can find some Kenny Omega and Young Buck Funko Pops and what those look like and if they're crazy expensive or what's going on. Hey, I'll take it. You know, it's not, uh, it's not what I thought I'd be hunting for, but it's something. So this isn't what I expected at all. I've been to Funko Pop stores before and I kind of figured it, the walls would just be loaded with Funko Pops. But there's like waterfalls in here and gigantic Funko Pops. I don't know if I'm going to find wrestling pops in this store. What I'm getting is a lot of copyrighted music though, so that's awesome. you love to see it. Alright, I'm getting a little more hopeful as I get further into the store. There's some weirder stuff back here. Oh, I love the Jeff Goldblum on the, uh, okay. Giant Jeff Goldblum might be maybe the, one of the coolest things that I've seen in uh, Los Angeles so far. I don't know. I'm looking for the wrestling wall. Maybe if I can find the wrestling section. You know what? I should probably buy some stuff for my kids while I'm here. This feels like where I'm going to pick up souvenirs for my family and maybe not for myself. But they got to have a wrestling section. Oh, I like the Stranger Things section. All right, this store's cool. This store is much cooler than I thought it would be from when I initially walked in. It's getting cooler as I go. We got horror pops. Everything's gonna be okay, boys. We got horror pops in here. I love gigantic Mike Myers pop. Gigantic Freddy Krueger. Now, this is more my speed. We're doing much better in here. Why, why the? We are in the horror section and we have Doom. Why do we have Doom? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Five minute Freddy's? Come on, come on, what is this? All right, there's a whole Wednesday line. Okay, all right, we got, all right, look, guys, as much as I like The Crow, it's not a horror movie. Can we do better than this? Who's ever, I need to talk to the manager. Who's running this store? What's going on? E.T. Are you kidding me? E.T.? Not horror. I have found the only section in the store that I've been told contains wrestling figures. I do not have high hopes for this. I'm gonna freak out if they actually, I mean, we got an ask. I like Asuka. I really figured I would see a lot of WWE. And that's pretty much all we got. And we got some sports over here. No luck, everybody. It's a bust. We got to keep hunting. All right, well, the Funko Pop Store was a bust. Of course, they did not have Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks in the Funko Pop Store. But look, I'm in LA. I'm about 20 minutes away from Kaylin and Kaylin Pickles. That's right, guys. 
You guys remember the pickle video, MJF, the true story of the MJF pickles? Probably not, because more people watch my toy hunt videos than watch that pickle interview. I would encourage you not only to go on this channel once this video is over and watch the interview with Scott Kalen, but stay tuned to this video, because that's right, I got myself a car coming and we're going to Kalen and Kalen Pickles and we are gonna eat a ton of pickles and have a good time. So it's a toy hunt video that's turned into a pickle video that might turn back into a toy hunt video at some point. You guys gotta keep watching, I'm telling you. It's all about viewer retention on YouTube, so the more I tease them with what's to come, they'll just keep watching. I can literally say anything right now. I can film the back of my Lyft driver's head and these guys are into it. It's really weird. Guys, you're weird. Do better with your entertainment choices. I shouldn't say that to my viewers. Exactly. Maybe I'll edit that out, but probably not. Is that Lyft driver? It's fucking awesome, okay? And I'm not just saying that because he said he was gonna watch the video. I'm saying that because he actually was a cool guy. So I'm gonna try to find Kalen and Kalen Pickles. Literally the coolest food court in the entire world. I'm actually super bummed that I haven't taken my family on this trip because this is exactly what my family would enjoy. Oh, I think I see it. I see Kalen and Kalen Pickles. This is it. It's, it's tucked back here and I'm gonna meet the people that are working here. Scott isn't here today, but I'm gonna meet some other people. How are you doing? Hello, I'm Mr. Hargrave. Hargrave, nice to meet you. Excellent. Sean. And this is Sean. And I, I hear you're gonna show me around. I will. I I'm will already totally impressed. Show you around. I'm already impressed by walking in this place. It's so cool. Monster up with a bang. Uh, yeah. Hey. All right, we have bread and butter. We have sweet heat. I have not tried blazing sour. Never? I gotta try blazing sour. Half sour, full sour. This one right here is a different kind of pickle. It's yeah. Fermented in salt water. It's nice and soft. And we use red tide chili peppers. All right, I haven't tried this. I heard that the sour pickles are difficult to ship. Yes, they are. They blow up? They get to, yeah, they tend to, to expand. When you started working here, I hear you didn't like pickles. I didn't, so I told Scott, I was like, hey, because he had mentioned, while working here, you can eat all the pickles you want. And I said, don't have to worry about that because I personally don't like pickles. He goes, I promise you that will change. And guess what? Spicy Dew is my favorite, and Honey Buster is my top second. <laughs> it's crazy how good they are. That's, I was with a bunch of people, yeah. and I said, come with me to the pickle place. A bunch of, a bunch of other YouTubers and stuff. Of course. And they were like, no, nah, we don't like pickles. I'm like, you morons. You absolute goddamn idiots. You gotta come to the pickle place and try the fucking pickles. You gotta tell them there's one flavor that changes 98% of people's minds. Which one's that? The honey mustard. The honey, the honey that's mustard. What, that's what got me. It's a different level. It's a different level. It's a different vibe. You know what the one that got me was? The honey mustard's good, but actually, honestly, the first time I had it, I was like, this ain't it. It was the horseradish. Really? The horseradish. I thought I was gonna puke. I don't. Good. It's like that's my. I, I can't get it anymore. The horse fries actually a fan favorite. It's amazingly good. It's amazingly good. Amazing. And you could do a lot of stuff with the brine. That's the other thing Scott was telling me is like it. We you got all these like recipes yeah, yeah. for the brines. For sure. So you buy the pickles and then you make gourmet food yeah. with the brines. Uh, like the honey mustard. The honey mustard one for sure. Yeah. You can you can marinate your salmon in it. Twenty four hours. Chicken, beef, whatever the case may be. And horseradish you can. Um, one of the brine, just a little bit, dip some prime, some prime rib in there. Man. This is what Scott told me. I still haven't tried it, but I really need to. Yeah, it's it's literally a, a, it's a go. It's all a go. Awesome. All right, I got my buddy Sean here with Kaylin Kaylin Pickles. He's gonna help walk me through this pickle experience. If what you can do is tell me something interesting with about the pickle, while I struggle to look decent while I eat it on camera, <laughs> that'd be great. Perfect. So. First, Where do we start? First things first, we have to start with the best seller. And what we gotta explain to people, when they come down here, Yes. I didn't understand this until I walked in. This place is incredible. It's like a high-end food court. It is. And this like the greatest place. mall in the entire world. This whole place, this whole market has anything you would you would think of. If you're craving something, you whatever can find you, it here. Whatever you want to eat. Yeah, for sure. I mean, mostly mall, you should come eat the pickles. Of course. That, if but, you're not gonna have dinner, your appetizer should be a flight of pickles. And I would come down for breakfast, lunch, Touching and dinner, dinner. Yeah. Yeah, everything. And some dessert. <laughs> yeah, a dessert between every course. Yeah. I, I saw some phenomenal desserts walk. For All sure. Right. So when you come to Kalen Kalen, this pickle flight here, this experience is like five bucks. Yes. 
So it's, it's three bucks for five three flavors. Bucks. And we do bucks. something where if you get two flights, we give you every flavor. It's amazing. And the catch of that is, say you like something, you come back, you want to buy anything, because of your flight, you get two dollars off. So you essentially try this for one dollar. It's amazing. It's an amazing experience. And and uh, I know the big selling point is people come down here for dates. Yeah. So it's a cheap date. It's the cheapest day in LA. Bring them down here, and then yeah, you can get whatever else you want. Yeah. Or you decide maybe you don't like them. Of course, and if you, you know, you see and then you, you take, and then you pretend to, you know, to send them to their Lyft or Uber, yeah. and then you come back and get some pickles. And if you, the best thing about it too is like, if you're sitting at the bar, you know, who doesn't want a pickle? Yeah. Who doesn't want a pickle? Yeah, you want to come get some pickles? Of course. All right, I like it. It's a pickup line. It's a, pick <laughs> it's a pickle pickup line. Exactly, it's a pickle line. I already know these pickles are fucking good, but walk me through this. All right, so first, <laughs> first ones first, which you can't go wrong with, can't go is wrong. our honey mustard. The honey mustard. I've been down the honey mustard. Of I course. know that. You, know, I told you when I did when I first ate these honey mustard, I didn't like. It. I said this isn't my thing, and the problem was I ate a bunch of spicy pickles first, and then you came to the honey mustard, and then I came. I'm like, this is throwing me off. Yeah. But then the next day, when you had, I it. grabbed the honey mustard. I'm like, I'm gonna eat these first because I don't like them. And I sat in front of them. I ate half the damn jar. Changed your whole experience. I ate half the damn jar, and I'm like, damn it! I think these are my favorite. Yeah. It was messed up. It does that to a lot of people. It, oh, it changes messed. their whole mentality of the pickle. And an interesting fact about that honey mustard. Good. It's you can marinate a lot of things in it, so you so you can so you don't ever have to throw away the brine. It's incredible. Yeah, you can you can use whatever the case whatever the case is salmon, chicken, any type of meat. And when I first had it, I thought it was too sweet, but if you don't mess up your palate before you eat it, it's, it's like, perfect. it's perfect. Yeah. It's absolutely perfect. It is absolutely divine. And I don't think you have to like pickles or mustard to enjoy it, you which don't. is kind of weird. You don't. And it's we, weird. We actually tell people who come up and say, I don't like pickles, I don't like mustard. It doesn't taste exactly how it sounds. No. Like honey mustard. I can see it's why it, it throws people off. Yeah. It's, it's actually perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect pickle. Yeah. I mean, I think the kosher is actually perfection in itself. Just the straight up. Where's that guy at? Kosher is right. Or can we jump around? Should yeah, I, should sure I jump into that? It's right here. That's your kosher. Is that a is that a good palate cleanser? Right. Actually, know. I lied. See, that's why I had you walk me through this. Here it is, right here. Here's the. Bathroom. I'll edit out the awkward bits or leave them in. Leave them in. I think it awkwardness is what makes it. All awkward bits. Oops. All awkward bits. All awkward bits. All right. This is this is the straight up kosher. Kosher. I mean, this is perfection. Yeah. Fun fact. It's not kosher, sir. <laughs> Fucking good pickle. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of pickles in my life. I've eaten a lot of, you know, straight up normal dill pickles. Yeah. They're, these are so above. No, it's it's above radar. And like I said before, I never liked pickles before. And now that I'm here, it literally grew on me. They don't have the vinegar hit that you would normally get, which is what my wife can't do vinegar. Mm -hmm. And so she was really happy with all this. Yeah, that, it suits her. Yeah. It's really good. Really good. So good. I didn't mean to eat the whole thing, but I didn't. It's that good. It, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Where are we going next? So you want to go something bold? Or do you oh. want something... We can bold it up after that. We can bold it up after that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> this one right here. What we like to say is it tastes like Christmas. It tastes like Christmas. Sweet heat. Yes. Yes. A I am a fan of these. With a little bit of hot, hot, hot to it. You know what? I've eaten, I've eaten plenty of them. Yeah. I didn't think about it as Christmas. They're actually better when you think about them as Christmas. It gets you something to expect. And then when you meet the expectation, it's I like, taste it. It's like, wow. I taste it. That helps. That definitely helps. Yeah, if you get the sweet heat, think of Christmas. Think of, think of Christmas. Absolutely. And it adds a whole new aspect to the flavor. Do you want to try Sweet Heat's Little Sister? Yeah, let's try it. Bread and butter? Bread and butter, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I definitely do not like bread and butter pickles. I like these bread and butter pickles. You want to know a fun fact about those bread and butter pickles? Our, our owner, our creator, Scott Kayla, he loves all of his pickles dearly, but the bread and butter are too sweet for him, so he created a soup. That's how the sweet heat came about. Yeah. He needed something with a little more kick to yeah. back up the sweet. Yeah, the sweet heat, I mean, I mean the, the sweet heat, I definitely prefer over the, the bread and butter, but as a guy who does not like bread and butter, I like these. I just need to have those on a sandwich. Yeah. 
That's all. I think alone would be too, you know, that's I can all. see why that's people say it's too, too sweet. It's a little too sweet. But if you like bread and butter pickles, though. They're for you. That's the most they're, amazing bread and butter you pickle like you're ever going to eat in your pickles, entire life. We have the bread and butter yeah. pickles for you. The ones. All right, let's see where we're going to go next. <laughs> this is like the second time on my channel <laughs> I've eaten all these pickles. It's okay, because the first time you guys didn't watch it, because I was like, look at me eat pickles, and you ignored it. But now I'm like, look at me go to a toy store. And then I failed to go to the toy store. And now I'm eating the pickles again. This is better, though. I it didn't is. have anybody to walk me through it last time. All right, what's going next? Let's go next. Let's do the horseradish. I love the horseradish. And that good was surprising old, to me. Good old horseradish. You can't go wrong with the horseradish. Amazing. Amazing. For you, for you drinkers out there who love to have a good time, horseradish is beautiful for a buddy. Uh, Bloody <laughs> They're even better fresh. Yeah. I mean, I eat them out of the jar all day, but coming down here to get them live, that is... I think coming live is the experience people need. You gotta do it. You gotta it's do it. It's experience. If you can do it, do it. If you live anywhere near in the area, how, how far have people come? Am I am I one of the furthest? No. New Jersey? So we've had people come from like London, come back, but I've seen you guys. <laughs> I need to take some pickles back with me. We've had, London. We had people drive up here from uh, friends of Fresno. We've had, we've had travelers who said, "I need to come here just for pickles," and then they got blessed with the market, with all the other. Yeah, things. yeah, the market's like a whole other thing they on top. They of don't it. think we're here in the in the actual market, like with this much options. I didn't get it. So when they get here, they see all the options. I made sure to film it. You guys saw. Yeah, that's important. It's definitely it's, an important a, it's definitely part. an experience. Yeah, it's very cool. All right, where are we going next? Those uh, horseradish are so good. I think what we should go next is the perfect, perfect pickle for any time snack, any okay. time of the day. Spicy garlic. Oh yeah, right no, here. Spicy garlic. You know, Chill. it's just like you don't need to combine it or anything. It's just a perfect pickle. And and they come in spheres, the shape everyone loves. Once again, just better, so much better, fresh, and and I mean that's like so much better than the best pickle on the entire planet. <laughs> fresh. Yeah. It's like a whole nother experience. Um, so yeah, my uh, my kids like these guys. Yeah, they, 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 kids are big fans of It's one of the the, the fans go to, like you know. It's a pickle pleaser. It's a pickle pleaser. There you go. It's a pleasing pickle. Um, let's go with the spicy dill. My personal favorite. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, you bet. Spicy you bet. dill. It's not ruin your day spicy. No, no, it's just it's like perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's it's legitimate perfect. Perfection. Pickle perfection. We're gonna put down a shirt. Pickle perfection. Or perfect for pickles. How's that? <laughs> perfect pickle perfection. That's that's it. That's the one. Perfect pickle perfection. <laughs> Where are we going next? I think I want to go hotter. You want to go hotter? We gotta go hotter. We have the blazing sour. Dial it up. But is it is it blazing sour? All right, you you guide the show. It's right here. Yeah, it's right there. But that's the one that that can mess up the palate. Oh, we don't want to mess up the palate. So you want to go for that one last? We'll do that one last. All right. So next, all we have left is the classic, which is right here. Okay, we got the clap. This is, I thought we already had the... No, jalapeno. I'm so sorry. That's where I wanted to go. Jalapeno. There that's where I was, that's what I was thinking. Look how God works. there. I know the pickles, so I was asking for the jalapeno secretly, and I got the jalapeno. Perfect. That's great. And it sits with actual jalapeno chips in the brine. Now, it varies. It varies. It varies. The batch I got was dialed up like a hundred times from this one. Yeah, so the longer you let it sit in that brine, <laughs> the hotter yeah, it will Yeah, yeah. So if you get a jar of these, I actually, I'm going to say this because I like kind of crazy hot stuff. Uh -huh. I prefer the jar of these guys delivered to my house and then maybe just let it sit around in the fridge for a couple of weeks. It gets that. It gets that. And then hit that. It gets that heat added to it. These fresh are like, it's almost not hot at all. Yeah. I it's really nice. That. It's delicious. But it's not hurt me. Now you ready for some hot? No, I'm ready. Here we go with the blazing sour. <laughs> These ones will mess you up. This is the one we ferment in salt <laughs> water so cool. with red Thai chili peppers. Mm. And you can only get these here. Only live. <laughs> Damn, they're good. Shipping them won't be the best experience. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> if I'm a good YouTuber, I'll cut in an explosion. <laughs> Did you guys ever try to ship them? I think Scott did once, yeah. I think that's how you find out. <laughs> you can't find out unless you do it. Right. Alright, what else we got left here? Classic New York 
classic, classic New York food. The full sour, where All you right, can't go wrong. This is the full sour. Once again, you can't ship it. No. But you but can't if, go But wrong. if you live in New York, you can go get... You can go get this. You can get a sour pickle. I don't know if it'll be this good. But will it be Kaylin and Kaylin pickle? Probably not. They're so tender. Yeah. That's wild. Everything else has a really great texture. I mean, this is a great texture too, but this one's different. It's different because they soften up in the soft yeah. That's cool. And what I tell people is, what we all tell people, we don't just sell pickles. We sell an experience. Yeah. And it's an experience you might want to come and experience. You definitely want to come experience it. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't like pickles. Because you never know. Like, you might not like the pickles back home and where you're from, but yeah. when people come here, it changes their, their whole... Their whole dynamic. Do you have regulars? Oh yeah, for sure. I have, I have a person who comes and grabs two blazing sours almost every Monday, <laughs> and it, I love it because they come and they're like, That's you right. know what I'm here for, and I'm yeah. like, like, your name's right here for. Honestly. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we got one left. Classic. That's your classic. This is uh. All right. What, what do you mean by classic? Classic dude. We had the kosher dill. Oh, I had the kosher dill. This is the classic. That's your dill. classic dill. I don't know which one I have. That's, that's, that's the only one that it's like, you know you can't go wrong with. Yeah. If it's broke, don't fix it. That's what I say. Very good. I don't know if I had that one before. That's really, really good. I think I had the kosher, but I don't know if I had the classic. What's the difference? So your kosher is less soap and less dill compared to your classic. It's more soap. Yeah, it's a, it's a little extra. Yeah. It has that little more kick. I kind of like that. I like that a lot. I enjoyed all these pickles so much. Thank you for walking me through the of flight. Of course. You're going to walk me around back here and show me the inner workings of uh, what you got going on? You can. You can do that, yeah. We're going to pack some honey mustard. So we're going to take three of these containers. We're going to take it over to our honey mustard sale. And this is how you pack them up well, if you're going to order them here in the store. Yes. So, right. most of our coworkers use this. Some use this, and some use a glove in your hand. We're going to use this today. There it is. Now, I've seen Scott just reach in with his bare hands. He's like a savage with the pickles. <laughs> right? You guys yeah. have seen this, right? Yeah. I'm watching him on TikTok, and he's just always with his bare hands up in the pickles. Has anyone told him that's kind of wild? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling them right now. <laughs> so, yeah, so after it's about right here, um, you're going to brine it. Yo, straight up. He takes a bath in those pickles, though, don't he? <laughs> I always wonder how he does it. If there's too it. many, you can always take it out. So, like, that's going to be enough. Cool, cool. So this is our final product. It's nice. And then we're going to go... Nice and, nice and brimming with pickles there. Pickle yes. goodness. You're going to take your clean towel. And you're gonna wipe around the edge. And then They're amazing pickles. Phenomenal. And then the lid on. Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the the and then yeah. label them up. Of course, there's the honey mustard. And uh, perfect honey mustard. Thank you so much for showing us that. Anything else cool we can see around here? Um, want to see some merch? Yeah, let's have a look at the merch. Yeah. Not, we're not just doing pickles, we're doing merch. <laughs> you're going to like these pickles so much, you're going to want to wear these pickles, but not like how Scott wears the pickles, like, <laughs> how like maybe a regular person would wear pickles. I don't know what that means. So here's all our merch. This one specifically is from a actual just crazy fun event he had did recently with the Scissor Bros. The Scissor Bros. Yeah. Two comedians who have a podcast. Can't we like get one with Scott and Mr. Hargrave on here? He could work on that. He, he teased me last time. He was like, if I can get enough people from you to show up on my socials saying that Mr. Hargrave sent me, then we would do some stuff. But you guys, I'm, I'm calling you, you out. I'm calling you out. You didn't go. So the links are down below. Yep. Okay. And if you go to the socials and you say that there's a demand, we can get, I heard we can get a Mr. Hargrave pickle. We can get Mr. Hargrave on t-shirts. I don't know, guys. I'm wanna just throwing it out there. You guys want to see a crazy hat that's going crazy right now? Yeah, let's see the hat. That's the hat. We've seen the hat a few times because you're wearing the hat. Yeah, we have a bunch of, bunch of 
bunch of bunch of. So this this is the MJF hat. Yes. That's the one. That's the that's the quote. We have green hats. Trucker. If you guys want to know the MJF connection, you, you remember MJF was talking about Kaylin, Kaylin Pickles. That video is on the channel and you can watch that. Not right now. Finish this video, but yeah. then go watch that one. Because you didn't. We even have socks. Like if your feet ever get cold, we have some nice socks. Ankle. <laughs> pickle socks. Pickle socks. Can't go wrong with some pickle socks. And we should. We're all online. It's all online. All online. Now tell me more about what we can do online because we just opened up the pickle subscription. Okay, so the pickle subscription is great because you can save 15% while you get the three months. And what's dope about it is, so usually without the subscription, to go on, to, to go up online right now, everything will be sold out because TikTok yeah. blew us up. You can't get them. You can't get them. Unobtainable. Uh, unless it's live. But now you can get them. Now you can get them. So there's no subscribe. line for you if you subscribe. There you go. Versus having to be on the in line and we sell out probably 35 minutes. That was honestly the problem last time on the channel when I was talking about these. I'm like, these pickles are great. You can't have them. Now you can have them. Now you can have Go them. online, subscribe, and they get the pickle sent to your house. I'm 100% in. Don't forget, if you tag us on your Instagram story, you get a chance to win free pickles. And mention Mr. Heartgrave, you yeah. savages. I got some pickles to go. And they actually let me know here at Kaylin Kaylin, there's toy stores here in the farmer's market as well. So let's go take a walk. Let's go see if we can find a toy store and uh, resume the toy hunt portion of this crazy YouTube video. It literally makes no sense. All right, goodbye to everybody at Kaylin Kaylin. Thank you so much. All right, excellent everybody. All right, awesome. All right, I cannot recommend Kaylin and Kaylin's pickles enough. I'm not even just saying that because they just hooked me up with a bunch of free pickles, but they're also awesome people. Like just quite honestly, that was one of the coolest interactions I've ever had out in the world in my entire life. Um, but you know, I've only had about like six interactions in, outside in the outside world my entire life. So the bar was low, but uh, you know, we do what we can do. All right, this place is massive, but like totally awesome. There's so many cool vendors. And yeah, here's Kip's Toyland. I don't know what to expect here. I don't know if they're gonna have any wrestling figures or what kind of toys we're talking about, but it was right here in the farmer's market. So I think it's worth checking out. I also heard there's another toy store a little further down the road. So we might have to check this out as well. Oh man, it looks kind of weird. We got some vintage stuff here, but you know what? AW figures could be anywhere. Cool stuff could be anywhere. So let's go find out. All right, everybody. Kip's Toy Store was a bust. Really cool store. Really nice people, but no AW figures. They had like six like WWE figures. I mean, it could have happened. I mean, all it, all it had to be is just like, you know, AW and we would have been in business. We have yet to see any AW figures in this AEW toy hunt. Might be the worst toy hunt video ever, but like the coolest travel blog video ever. So it's kind of a trade-off, you know? Really bad toy hunt video, really cool travel blog. Let me know if you're enjoying this down in the comments. I'm enjoying making it. That counts for something. There it is, guys. We actually did end up at Big Lou's. I really hope they have some AEW figures. This video has been so wild, but thank you for sticking with me. So I flew from New Jersey to California to go to Big Lou's. I ended up at Frank and Sons. We know how that went. I ended up at Kaylin and Kaylin's. That was awesome. And now I'm at Big Lou's. Let's go inside. I haven't been able to talk to these guys. Hopefully they're gonna be cool with me motorcycles scourge of our nation let's go inside let's see if they have anything cool let's see if they have some aw figures man even if they don't have aw figures maybe they could show me around just be like dude i'm having the worst toy hunt of my life help me out all right guys i'm in big lose and it is amazing in here i mean there are just rows and rows of amazing toys i mean this is one of the coolest toy stores i've ever been in i asked him if they had any AEW figures and he just told me flat out he doesn't have them he's got wwe figures he says i'm too late there was a guy down here and he had AEW figures but they sold them out and they haven't seen them come back in 
And then he got he got kind of a you know I told him about YouTube and he said he's got something, and there there he is there and and, and he's got something in his hand, so there might be an AW figure in this video yet. All right, sir, can you tell the people? I'm very excited to see this. This is a, this is a broken Matt Hardy. This is a great figure. Oh yeah, this is a great figure. This is a great figure. Can you tell us about your store? Uh, well, we've been here 25 years. Amazing. So, uh, and you know, we survived COVID, so we're still here. Awesome. And you know, it's this 3,200 square feet of collectibles. We have a slot car track for racing, so. This is so cool. So you yeah. have people come here and do like slot car tournaments? Yes, we do. That's so cool. So I don't know a lot of toy stores that have. No, there's there is no toy store that has. This is it. Race. This is it. This is the only one. This is the only one. That's really really cool. Yeah. So you got anything else like super cool you want to show us? Uh, you know what? We have so much stuff. I have no idea where everything ends to do that. We have a lot of stuff. It's just stuff everywhere. It is. It is literally stuff everywhere. Oh, that's right here. So when people come in here, how long do they normally? When people come in here, how long do they normally look around for? Uh, new people look around for a while. They're here a couple few hours. I could be here literally forever. They would have to pull me out of here. In fact, you are kicking me out of here. Oh, no, because I had to go to a, <laughs> I to go to a, hot, I to a hot wheel convention today. That's why. Do you ever go to Frank and Sons? Uh, I used to go a lot, but now I don't because it's kind of far. And they don't have anything I want. Yeah, they were mean to me. They kicked me out. Oh, yeah. They're, they're not, they're not very they were like, yeah. I, I was like, can you at least show me around for my channel? And they were like, no. And I was like, could I film you telling me no and they were like no yeah <laughs> but you're nice and you're gonna sell me a matt hardy yeah i'm gonna buy a matt hardy all right guys thank you so much thank you for showing us around oh, you're this welcome. is big Lou's toys and collectibles in Culver city california awesome if you're in the area come on down they are awesome they are super friendly and they won't kick you out yeah we won't kick you out and that's it, Grave Diggers. That's the end of the video. We are back in New Jersey, man. What a crazy trip. Um, Big Lou's was really, really cool. It's a really cool store. Um, they, they were actually on their way out when I came in there, but I could have filmed in there it, even without the camera and without the show, dude. I could have spent like all day in that shop, and they said that I was welcome to. Um, unfortunately, I just ran out of time. And all right, it's probably a good time to tell you guys. I'm going to show you some toys. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to show you some toys. Don't worry. We are going to put some AW toys in this video. I actually got some cool stuff to show you. I got some got some surprises underneath this desk that I'm going to pull out. Um, but I, I think it's time to come clean. You're like 40 minutes into this video. I can tell you what's really up. Okay. Did Mr. Hartgrave actually just book? <laughs> did, he, did he put down the money, take the time away from his family, fly to California like a haphazard jackass? and uh, jump in an, uh, in a lift and, and try to get into fucking, uh, you know, Frank and Sons. Uh, you know, are, are you that fucking stupid is, is the question. And, and kind of, like literally kind of, but it was a business trip. Okay, so it was a business trip. I, did, I was doing a whole other thing for my first channel uh, while I was down there. The primary thing I was doing was for my first channel. And, and that footage is over there or whatnot, so... I was a little dishonest at the start of this video. I wasn't just dropping down money on this toy hunt video. So yeah, you don't have to feel bad for me if this video doesn't hit like, I don't know. I really like to see a toy hunt video hit 20,000 views. And if you've got this far and you think this video is cool, please like, subscribe. That's the easy stuff, right? Ring the bell. That's a little harder. The really difficult thing, like the expert level thing to do is to share it with, your, share it with people you know. Let people know this guy's out here. He's making these videos that you enjoy. Maybe someone else will like him as well. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Other things you can do. We got links down below for everybody we visited, right? We got links down below for, for Magic Mind if you're interested in that. I got discount code down there for Magic Mind. But all right, here's the stuff. Here's what we got. We got that Matt Hardy. You saw the you saw the Matt Hardy. I'm actually really excited about this one. It's not an incredibly rare or incredibly valuable AW figure, but it is an incredibly cool figure and it's one I didn't own. So, oh my god, dude, that guy saved my bacon, dude. Like I I had backup plans. You, as a YouTuber making these kind of videos, you always got to have some backup plans. That's how we ended up, you know, Kayla and Kayla. Like, I just kind of had that in the back of my head the whole time. Like, I can just go over to Kaylin. Kaylin. 
they're gonna they're gonna be fun, you know. But all right, there's Matt Hardy. And what's cool is he's got Vanguard One in there. The uh, the drone is in there as well. I should unbox this thing because this one's like one of the cooler figures. That's why it kind of it's more coveted, and it's got the hologram of Matt Hardy in there as well. Really cool figure. So I was I was honestly pumped when that came out. Honestly, extremely excited. I cannot find a good place to put that that is not blocked by something. Okay, some other things came in the mail. I want to show you some stuff that came in the mail because honestly, guys, it's a lot cheaper. It's more boring to buy stuff off the mail. Like it's more fun to go out in the world and find this stuff and meet people and go to these cool shops and stuff. Like that's what I, I like to do that. But sometimes it's just, you know, if you want to really get something, you just order it, right? We all know that. So I, we saw this at Pandora's box and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I did go out and order Championship Cody. Uh, this is one of like the original like kind of deluxe figures. I like the way you can kind of it has like a clear window in the back. That's something you really can't tell when you look at pictures of it online. But it's really, really cool. I really like this um, this piece here that celebrates Cody winning the TNT Championship. Looks really cool. Really, really, really nice. And then another thing that came in is what was waiting for me actually when I got home was the Blood and Guts Thunder Rosa. And I really, I think the Blood and Guts line is really really cool uh for aw toys i i recommend all of these in fact i want to get all of them i think the only one i'm missing now is the barbed wire death match and i think i saw that they had one of those over at pandora's box so maybe next time i'm in there i'm going to pick that up but um this goes with so i had the Britt baker one and they are a set and if you turn them around you know they got both pictures there they're just really, really nice. But like the the pictures online don't do them justice. They're really, really nice sets. Um, they have uh, raised, like all the blood splatters on here are like raised and like you know there's a texture to them. They're kind of bumpy. Now I, I found that that was really kind of taking it over the edge. As a horror fan, like I really like how kind of gory these are. You know we're a big fan of gore on this channel, right? These are very cool figures. So I, I really wanted to complete that set and have both of them. So those came in and uh, yeah, that's the new stuff. Um, we're going to have to do some more toy hunt videos. I think the next big idea that I have for a toy hunt video is uh, I said it before, but I, I haven't really been mentioning it enough. I haven't plugged in this enough. Yeah, you guys are it's the end of the video, but I should have done this at the start of the video. I got, I got to get better at YouTube. 5,000 subscribers, okay? There's a Jericho. I got to go see if he's still there. There might just be a video where I just go talk to these guys and 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 meet them and show you the store. Uh, but there's like a Jericho figure, um, $500 Jericho. I don't, think, I don't think I've seen, I haven't run into a more expensive AEW figure out there in the wild. I did see a $500 Jericho. So he's very, he's went back from like 2019, I think. I do my research on the piece as well. Um, but I think he's back from 2019 and he's one of the chase variants. I think it's a one out of 500. It's one of those super rare ones. It's going for 500 bucks in there at 5,000 subscribers. I'll go buy it. Okay guys. So if you want to see that crazy video, if you want to see crazy YouTuber doing crazy YouTube things, if you want to see more of this stuff, yeah, like subscribe, all that, all the links are down below. For everybody that I could find links for, if if you're in LA, go check these places out. Look, I check out Frank and Sons, man. Like, I don't want to give the wrong impression about Frank and Sons. I that was me being a jackass. That wasn't really them being a jerk. Okay, like it's jokes, guys. And then yeah, Magic Mind links down below. Promo codes down below. Check it out. A lot of other great videos on this channel. If you never watched the Kalen and Kalen interview with Scott Kalen about MJF. Guys, you like AEW, right? You want to hear cool AEW behind-the-scenes stories? Go check out that interview. You guys totally missed that. because And it's, that's YouTube's fault. It's not your fault. I'm not trying to blame anybody. But now's your chance. Go check it out. A lot of other great videos. I'm sure you missed something. YouTube is not showing people all my videos. So, Grave Diggers, keep digging. <laughs>
Jesus' face. I'm her, her death place. I fall down on my knees in praise of the horrible things that took her.